This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Well, here's what you're talking about. It's tax day. It's April 5th oh. day, and we're talking about your man, the former IRS, Mike Rotunda, born down in St. Petersburg, Florida, March 30th, 1958. Eventually moves to Newark Valley, New York for his high school years. He's a wrestler and a football player there. He was to uh, Syracuse, as most of us recall, and graduated there. And then he went to Germany to train under the destroyer Dick Beyer. You got any good Dick Beyer stories you can share with us? Yeah. You know, Dick's a great guy and yeah, was a great guy. He passed away. Uh, an amazing athlete. You know, he was a two sport star at college before it was cool at Syracuse, which is no ham and egg school. No, it's not like Texas or something like that. Uh, but it, nonetheless, he was, uh, uh, so respected. He made his, he made his living primarily in Japan. And he learned to speak fluent Japanese. He had a TV show there. So Dick Byer knew how to build a brand with his mask and the whole nine yards. And then the, the fan, he was a huge heel there. And then all of a sudden when he started speaking more Japanese, uh, I think the respect factor was played up to that audience. So, uh, one, one time we're at the, uh, we're at the. We're stay, I, I go in the Cauliflower Alley Club there in Las Vegas at the, uh, what's that hotel called? Oh, the hotel. The gold, uh, not the Golden Nugget, but uh, Gold Coast. Yep, Gold Coast. Good job, Conrad. And uh, so we have a little, I think this, the program's about to start or whatever. I'm, I'm emceeing the show. Uh, and so I thought, well, you know, smart thing to do right now is considering my my bladder's about the size of a walnut. I should probably go to the bathroom. So you walk into the bathroom there and, and there's a whole bunch of guys standing at urinals. I got me an empty spot, you know, a window seat. It's good. And, uh, so I, I, Dick steps about three or four guys down. And, uh, I said something like, this is in the men's room. Hey, Dick, looking good. Not mm -hmm. about his penis. Right. I uh, hope you have any eight year olds listening, but I did say the correct scientific word, medical term. And you, everybody turned their heads. Every, people started peeking out of the stalls. So I learned there that in a bathroom, in a men's bathroom, you probably shouldn't say, Hey, Dick, you're looking good. Probably not. It gives a different connotation to what it was intended to do. A little bit. And then we got a laugh out of it. I think I might use that on the show. It was funny. It was I guess you had to be there. Or have some more drinks. Uh but anyway, I love the Call for Hour Club and, and the but Dixon was a big member of that. Uh such a nice guy. He came through one time for Cowboy just out of old time's sake because they worked together in Minneapolis for Vern, Ganya, and uh, just to do T V jobs. Did he did he came through. We did two shows every other, every other Wednesday and, uh, and Dick, uh, came in and put two guys over. I can't remember what it was, but, uh, he, he showed him how to work. He showed him how you could put somebody over and you could get over. I thought that was pretty cool. But anyway, Dick Byers, a legend and, uh, what he could teach Mike Rotunda was much, much more than just how to uh, apply an overhand wrist lock and how to escape it and how to get back into it and things of that nature. Let my family save your family some cash. You don't need perfect credit. You don't need money out of your pocket, but we will save you money. It's not a matter if it's a matter of how much save with Conrad.com. Uh, he had great psychology. He had great character. And I think Mike acquired a lot of those traits. Uh, not that he wouldn't have had them anyway, as a, you know, a good parents, he's college to college athlete, college, he's degreed. He's not an idiot. So, uh, but the one thing the good old Dick Byer, the destroyer, I think he also was wrestled. I think he might have wrestled as a Dr. X for a while, always primarily under a mask because he had such a life back in Syracuse. I think he coached some. So anyway, he's kind of like Jim Myers changing his name from to George, the animal steel while he was coaching in Michigan. Uh, but he couldn't, he couldn't manufacture charisma for old Mike, 
but I will tell you this, and that's going to say, so the, here's the clickbait. We know there's going to be clickbait on this show for somebody's website. Uh, JR is going to, he's going to, JR, uh, you know, deflowers Mike Rotunda says he had no charisma. I'll, I'll, if you want to finish that thought, you assholes, I would say to you that, uh, he would be, he would be one of the top guys I'd want to hire if I had a territory because of his reliability, because of the fact he could work baby face or heel, because of the fact that he could work in tags or singles. So I uh, have a lot of respect for Mike Rotunda and that goes a long way more than being able to cut the scintillating promo uh, that we all embrace from time to time. So, uh, good, good start for Mike to hook up with Dick Byer. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.